Guys, I got a couple things that I got to share today. First thing I got to share is the idea of callousing your mind. And before I get into it, I just got to say, everybody has to understand that with a strong mind, strong willpower, strong discipline, you can get anywhere you want to be in life. You can get so much farther in life and have such a happier and better life if you have a strong mind. But just like any other part of our body, just like our, our biceps, our legs, our chest, our back, you got to work on the mind. You got to work on the back. You got to work on the arms. That's how they grow. That's how they get stronger. If you don't work on your mind as hard as you work on your physical attributes, your mind will never get stronger. So that's what I mean when I say callous your mind. When you do pull-ups, when you do whatever, deadlifts and uh, barbell curls, when you look down at your hands, you see calluses all over your hands because you put, you put yourself through something. You, you physically put yourself through something and, and you suffered for a little bit and you made it through the challenge and you're left with those battle scars. It's the same thing with the mind. <sighs> growth of the mind, just growth of all mental clarity is going to have to come from challenges and from suffering. If you put yourself through hard stuff, if you get yourself through tough situations, not just physical, I'm talking mental situations, I'm talking emotional strain, I'm talking just mental strain in general. If you get yourself through those situations and you come out on the other side, guess what? You worked on it and you got stronger. It's the same exact thing as weightlifting, it's just with your mind. You have to callous your brain. You got to put yourself through stuff, not on purpose or maybe, maybe on purpose, but you got to understand that all the bad stuff you go through, all the stuff that seems like it's so hard, that stuff is making you such a stronger person. You got to understand that. You got to understand that. I say it all the time. There's light at the end of the tunnel. You have to put yourself through suffering and you have to endure. You have to endure the suffering. It's not like... Life is not just peas and carrots. Life is not easy, and life is not supposed to be easy. An easy life is not gonna make a strong person. A hard life, a tough life, mentally straining, physically straining, that's how you get stronger. If you put your mind through stuff, and, you, and don't, you know, don't fall into vices, don't fall into stuff that's keeping you in bondage. If you really dig deep and you feel it and you understand where it's coming from and you confront it head on, it's not going to be easy. But you're going to be callous in your mind. You're going to be working on yourself. And what do you think is going to happen at the end of that? Your mind is going to come out stronger at the end of that. What do you think is going to happen when you do that every single day? or every single week, every single month, your mind will get stronger. As your mind gets stronger, I'm telling you, life is gonna open up. Life is really gonna open up for you if you, if you really endure the suffering. Don't, you know, obviously people, they'll drink alcohol, they'll smoke weed, they'll hang out with friends, they'll do anything they can not to endure. You have to endure. Like, you really have to be there. You got to feel it. You got to feel what you're going through. You got to absorb it. And you have to get down to the root. Because eventually, you're going to get down to that root. And the later you do it, the worse the outcome is going to get. You got to hit the nail on the head early. You got to get down to the root of your feelings. You got to get down to the root of what's going on in your life. You got to endure the suffering, guys. You're going to come out a stronger person, I'm telling you. Just like we callous our hands, we could callous our feet if we're walking barefoot. You're going to have a stronger mind. You have to callous the mind. You literally are what you think. 
Never forget the saying that you are what you think. If you have a good mental clarity, if you have a good mind, you can take yourself to places that you never thought you would go. Always remember that, guys. Callous the mind. Put yourself through hard situations. Endure, endure, endure. And come out stronger on the other side. Peace.